Hey, can you hand me that wire, please? No, not the cable. Not the cord, the wire. Huh? What do you mean you thought they were the same thing? I guess it's not that surprising since most people don't know the difference between them since cable and cord can often be used interchangeably and then a wire is a component of either of them. So we'll start with wires. A wire is a single conductor, usually made of one strand, but sometimes more, of a conductive metal like copper or aluminum. Since it's made of a conductor, it can carry electricity, either to power something on the other end or deliver some type of signal, often for telecommunication. But the important thing here is that a wire, even if it's got multiple strands, acts as a single conductor. A cable is a group of two or more wires, glass fibers or other materials often twisted and running together to the same place. Just like with wires, most cables can carry either electricity or electrical signals, but there's a lot more variety in their design depending on the intended application. Copper cables come in all kinds of sizes and shapes. Simple three conductor AC power cables, the type you'll have all around your house, twisted pair, the type you'll find in an ethernet network cable, coaxial, where the two conductors carry different signals and the list goes on and on. Sometimes they're all working together, like how the two wires in a DC power cable are just insulated positive and negative power for one device, but in other cases, like a Thunderbolt cable, a sweet technology that we covered in this video here, they might actually carry power and multiple types of signaling along the same cable at the same time to be broken out at the other end. The definition does trickify a little though where materials other than metal are involved. A fiber optic cable is still a cable even when it's a single strand because a wire must be made of a conductive metal and while outside of electronics a cable is still usually made of metal like on a suspension bridge in some cases only when it's very heavy and strong it can refer to a rope. A cord is very similar to a cable. Multiple strands of either a conductor or rope all insulated or twisted together and going to the same place with the main difference being the flexibility and ruggedness. So for non-conductors, the thick ropes from before would be cables, but not cords. And for a thin rope, that would be a cord, but not a cable. For electrical stuff, most of what you find in your house could be called either a cord or a cable interchangeably, but any thicker industrial grade gear is automatically a cable. So, now you know. While all of these things are related and there is some overlap, they are actually different after all. And now that you know, the next time someone confuses a wire with a cable, you can be a decent human being and say nothing because in the grand scheme of things, it really doesn't matter. Or you can stop them in their tracks and drop your knowledge on them like a ton of bricks by sharing this video. Speaking of dropping knowledge, one of the best ways to expand your knowledge is through reading and Oh, what's that? You don't have time to read? Well, I guess it's a good thing that today's video sponsor, audible.com, provides you with awesome audiobooks that can fit a great book into any schedule. They have over 150,000 audiobooks available, and the first one is absolutely free. If you head over to audible.com slash Linus, which means you can listen to The Innovators by Walter Isaacson, the author of Steve Jobs' The Biography. The Innovators is the story of the people who created the computer and the internet, which focuses on basically the modern digital revolution. So head over to audible.com slash Linus and start your 30 day trial of their monthly audiobook membership today and pick up your first audiobook absolutely free of charge. Guys, thanks for watching. Like this video if you liked it. Dislike it if you disliked it. Leave a comment with suggestions for future fast as possibles. And I think that's it. As always, don't forget to subscribe. Oh, ow.